Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered about the secrets it holds? It's a sight that has captivated humanity for millennia, a vast expanse of darkness dotted with twinkling stars, celestial bodies, and distant galaxies. This is our universe, a place of infinite wonder and mystery, a cosmic tapestry woven over billions of years. Our universe is a grand cosmic journey, a story that begins with a singular event of unimaginable intensity, the Big Bang, a moment of creation that sparked the formation of everything we know and see. From the tiniest particles to the most mammoth galaxies, everything has its roots in this profound event. Yet, the universe is more than just a collection of celestial bodies. It's a puzzle that challenges us to unravel its secrets. The cosmos beckons us with its enigma of existence. Why does it exist? How did it come to be? These are questions that have tantalized thinkers and scientists for centuries, and they are what drive our exploration of the cosmos. Imagine for a moment, the awe-inspiring breadth of the universe. It's so vast that light, the fastest thing we know of, takes billions of years to traverse it. And within this immense expanse exists a tiny speck, our planet Earth. Here, against all odds, life has found a way. We as a species have emerged, evolved, and developed the curiosity to question our place in the cosmos. Are we alone in the universe or are there others out there, somewhere in the cosmic dark, asking the same questions? This is the enigma of existence, a riddle that we are only just beginning to understand. As we delve into the mysteries of the universe, we are in essence exploring our own origins. Each discovery, each piece of the cosmic puzzle we unearth, brings us one step closer to understanding our place in this grand cosmic narrative. So, prepare yourself as we embark on a journey through time and space from the Big Bang to the present day. Our cosmic journey begins approximately 13.8 billion years ago with a monumental event called the Big Bang. Consider every single particle, every celestial body, every galaxy contained within an infinitesimal point of boundless density. This incredible point was the starting state of our universe, labeled as a singularity. Almost instantaneously, this singularity expanded at an incomprehensible speed, faster than light, birthing an event now termed as the Big Bang. But what does this term imply? The Big Bang Theory isn't about the creation of the universe per se. Rather, it expounds the evolution of the universe over billions of years. It provides a scientific rationale for the continuous expansion of the universe and why it appears as it does today. A vast expanse of stars and galaxies, all moving away from each other. In the immediate of the Big Bang, the infant universe was a superheated, dense concentration of particles and energy. Envision it as a boiling cauldron of elementary particles like quarks, electrons, and photons, all chaotically intermingling and interacting in a blisteringly hot whirlpool. As the universe continued to expand it began to cool down, creating conditions for quarks to amalgamate and form protons and neutrons, the fundamental components of atomic nuclei. Approximately three minutes post the Big Bang, the universe had cooled sufficiently for these nuclei to entrap electrons, thus creating the first atoms composed predominantly of hydrogen and helium. This phase of swift expansion and cooling is labeled as cosmic inflation. It's an indispensable part of our comprehension of the Big Bang Theory, because it explains the uniform appearance of the universe in all directions, even in the absence of sufficient time for light to traverse from one end of the universe to the other. From a microscopically small, infinitely dense point, the universe expanded and cooled to create atoms, which form the basis of everything we observe today. This process prepared the framework for the subsequent chapter in our cosmic narrative laying the groundwork for the creation of more complex structures. And so the stage was set for the formation of galaxies, stars, and eventually planets. In the aftermath of the Big Bang, the universe continued to expand and cool, setting the stage for the creation of galaxies and stars. This cool down allowed matter to begin to coalesce. Over hundreds of millions of years, gravity started to pull this matter together, forming a cosmic web of gas and dark matter. Within this cosmic web, dense regions began to collapse under their own gravity, creating pockets of intense heat and pressure. These pockets are the birthplaces of galaxies. Each galaxy, a swirling mass of gas, dust, and billions of stars, is a testament to the power of gravity and the complexity of the universe. But what about the stars themselves? Stars, like our own sun, are the powerhouses of the universe. They're born from clouds of gas and dust, known as nebulae. As gravity pulls the gas and dust together, the pressure in the core of the nebula increases, driving up the temperature. 
When the core gets hot enough, a process called nuclear fusion begins. This is where the magic happens. Hydrogen atoms are squashed together under immense pressure and heat, creating helium and releasing energy in the process. This energy is what makes stars shine. But the story doesn't end there. The process of nuclear fusion in stars doesn't just stop at creating helium. As stars age and evolve, they start to fuse heavier and heavier elements, all the way up to iron. Stars are therefore the birthplaces of the elements. Every atom in your body, the air you breathe, the ground beneath your feet, was once part of a star. Even the gold in your jewelry was likely formed in the heart of a dying star, in a magnificent explosion called a supernova. These processes gave birth to the building blocks of the universe as we know it. From the expansive galaxies to the tiniest atoms, everything we see, touch, and experience is a product of the stars. As stars continued to form and die, they spewed out the elements that would eventually coalesce to form planets, and ultimately, life. Imagine a cosmic furnace, tirelessly forging elements in its searing heart. Stars, in their life and death, are the architects of the universe as we know it. In their fiery crucibles they create the building blocks of planets. Everything from light elements like hydrogen and helium, to heavier ones like carbon, oxygen, and iron. Once these stars exhaust their fuel, they explode in spectacular supernovae scattering these elements throughout space. Over time these elemental particles drawn together by gravity, begin to form a swirling disk of gas and dust. This is the birthplace of planets. The center of this disk, dense and hot, becomes the star around which these newborn planets will orbit. But not just any planet can support life. For life as we understand it, certain conditions need to be met. First, the planet needs to be in what we call the habitable zone, the Goldilocks region, not too hot, not too cold, but just right for liquid water to exist. Then, it needs to have the right kind of atmosphere, one that can protect it from harmful solar radiation and help maintain a stable climate. And then there's Earth, our home, a cosmic anomaly. Positioned perfectly in the habitable zone of our sun, blessed with a protective atmosphere and a magnetic field to shield us from solar winds, it's here that water, that elixir of life, exists in abundance. It's here that conditions over billions of years have allowed life to spark, to evolve, to thrive. From the simple single-celled organisms of the primordial soup to the diverse and complex life forms that populate our planet today, life on Earth is a testament to the universe's incredible capacity for creation. It's a story of cosmic proportions, a story of how the most ordinary of elements under the right conditions can create something as extraordinary as life. Thus, against all odds, the stage was set for the emergence of life. On one small planet, in a galaxy among billions, life emerged and eventually evolved into a species capable of contemplating its own existence. This small planet, our Earth, is a unique and remarkable place. It's here that life as we know it, took root in the primordial oceans billions of years ago. The first life forms were simple, single-celled organisms, but over time, through the process of evolution, these organisms diversified and became more complex. Life on Earth took many forms and followed many paths, but one path led to a creature unlike any other, the human being. Humans, or Homo sapiens, are a young species, having only been around for the last 200,000 years or so. But in that relatively short span of time we've made an immense impact on our planet and on life itself. Our evolution has been marked by significant milestones. The development of language for instance allowed for the complex exchange of ideas and the accumulation of knowledge. The invention of tools extended our physical capabilities, while the discovery of fire provided warmth, protection, and a new way to prepare food. But perhaps most significantly, our evolution has imbued us with an insatiable curiosity and a remarkable capacity for understanding. It's these qualities that have driven us to explore our world and beyond. We've ventured into the deepest oceans, climbed the highest mountains and even walked on the moon. Our journey to understand the cosmos is a testament to our evolutionary journey. It's a reflection of our tenacity, our ingenuity, and our desire to know and grow. But it's also a humbling reminder of our origins and our interconnectedness with all life on Earth. And so, we find ourselves here, at the edge of our understanding, looking out into the cosmos. Today, we continue to explore the cosmos, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and understanding. Our journey through the cosmos is an endless endeavor, fueled by curiosity and a relentless thirst for discovery. We are living in a cosmic present, 
a moment in time where we are pushing ourselves beyond the confines of our blue planet, reaching for the stars, and aiming for the unknown. Space exploration, once the realm of science fiction, is now a tangible reality. We've launched satellites that map the cosmos, sent rovers to Mars and even landed humans on the moon. These achievements, as monumental as they are, represent only the tip of the iceberg. The vast universe still holds many secrets and we are just beginning to unravel them. Our current endeavors are bold and ambitious. We're planning manned missions to Mars, developing technologies to travel faster and further, and searching for signs of life beyond Earth. We're also harnessing the power of artificial intelligence and machine learning to analyze cosmic data, helping us understand the universe in ways we never thought possible. But we're not just looking for answers. We're also seeking to ask better questions, to question our place in the universe, our role as cosmic explorers, and our responsibilities as stewards of this celestial arena. We're trying to comprehend the very nature of existence itself, and in doing so, we are redefining what it means to be human. The future of space exploration is also about collaboration. It's about nations, organizations, and individuals coming together, sharing resources, knowledge, and dreams. It's about realizing that our survival and progress as a species are intertwined with our understanding and exploration of the cosmos. As we gaze into the cosmic horizon, we see a future full of challenges, but also full of opportunities. The universe is a grand cosmic laboratory, ready for us to experiment, observe, and learn. We are on the cusp of a new era of discovery, an era that will shape our understanding of ourselves and the universe around us. As we continue our cosmic journey, we look forward to the mysteries that the universe has yet to reveal.